WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on the second day of April. My pleasure to be here. And we are looking at the Dow down 85 at 26,174 in this TFNN noon update, uh, making a slightly lower high than yesterday's 26,280 high. That was a recovery high, just 900, just uh, less than 900, a little more than 900 points away from the all-time high of 26,951. We're now at 26,174, having pulled back a little bit. My suspicion is, based on the 120-minute chart, there'll be some choppy action with some slightly higher highs over the coming day and a half. I was expecting some weakness today, either today or tomorrow, and that's kind of what we've got. Look at the way the weekly chart has gone to this leg B, and the MACD, the moving average stochastic, are both very, very strong. Look at the S&P. The S&P now is a little stronger than the Dow. Why? Because uh, Walgreen, WBA, got smacked. Very bad earnings. It's down very sharply at like a um, um, yearly low. The S&P is down 222 at 2864. But it did make a slightly higher high today. Is this a new leg D or is it a brand new leg B? This is going to be the question here because the MACD has just turned positive and stochastic still just okay. At 73 percent, but the weekly is very strong. It's in leg C, a little bit more than the Dow, one little higher. And the QQQ, one, two, three, QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle at this particular point. Where did I type that? Let's keep typing in the wrong place. There it is. The QQQ is up 0.40 at 182.44, <clears throat> still under the 182.83 high of the 21st of. March making a U-shaped pattern, hasn't yet gone to leg C in the weekly, but that weekly chart is still very strong. The uh, IWM uh, is up. Oh, now it's down. It's down 28 cents at 154.48. Uh, it's actually holding quite nicely, uh, but the weekly chart is not anywhere as strong as the others. Gold. Right at this moment, gold is unchanged at about 12.94, and the dollar, which has had a lovely move to the upside, is trading at um, 97.49, getting closer and closer to 97.72 to break out for the first time in months. Fellow Chapman, I'll be back for my Tiger Traditions Hour in a few minutes. Stay tuned, otherwise I'll see you tomorrow. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, 